So, what do you call it? Your orchards, your garden, your hatchery? You! Calm down. Neither of us wishes to harm this wonderful collection. After all, these are the children of the future. Those who will survive the horrors of the morrow. Now I have a question. How do you separate these ones from the ones being thrown in the furnace? That's the part I have trouble with. I consider myself to be a pretty good judge of character. But when the moment comes to pick a member of the flock to take part in the Ascendance, I am unable. How do you decide that one life is more valuable than another? That's why, in the end, I decided to pick randomly. Leave things to chance. It's the only way to avoid playing God. The only way to hold on to your humility. We are not the same, you and I. What are you doing here? How did you learn about this place? Well, I poured myself a cup of tea and asked the gods directly. What do you call the gods are nothing but the fruits of your heresy, and I am the proof of it. Yes, I know what you are. The last rebellious figment of their dwindling consciousness. Anyway, I haven't come to fight. This body is merely a puppet. You're free to dispose of it after it has delivered its message. What message? The bearer of destruction is coming for you. The bearer of... Yes, the one carrying the seed. That is what you were after the other day, weren't you? Or unless, your goal was to kill me all along. Two birds with one stone, maybe? Nevertheless, 
you now have a problem on your hands. The Bearer will eventually learn to master his new powers. And this will be a problem for you too. Will it now? He's coming for you either way. And if he has not realized the merits of the Ascendants, I doubt he will be pleased with your little operation here. I will find a way to kill you. I promise. If you truly inherited Gora's memories, then you should know him already. His name is Darian. Him? Yes. So, shall we?
This is the moment you realize you've made a mistake. These were scouts. Okay, we found some tracks and there's no time to waste. Let's get a Nekaru and find out where they came from. No, Darian. If what you say is true, if they really were scouts, then we must stay here and help the city repel the next attack. We're sitting ducks if we stay here. If the creature who commands these automatons thinks even remotely like Korra, it will gather its strength and come here in full force. We'll have no chance. Are you even sure of that? I think you're underestimating Cherkalem. We need to stand our ground. For the sake of these people. Well, that's your thing, Selene. Stand strong and wait for them to attack. Emerge triumphant, then take a bow to a round of applause. But this is a war. Not a... Not a what? A popularity contest to win the hearts of the people of Harrien. This is not Jagholm. Korra told me what happened between you and the Sanctorium. He did, did he? Trust me, whatever he told you, he only knows half the story. Besides, I would have told you everything. You just had to ask. We can take a few steps back if you need some privacy. I know you would have, Selene. Listen, things happened during the war. I simply tried to stay well out of all that. I don't have the stomach for it. Not anymore. Is this about that thing you asked me about at home? The Ascendance? Taking a step back now. Listen, I... All that matters to me is saving Mom, Selene, and keeping you safe. I don't care about the other stuff. Then stay here! Help us! No, in this situation, I know what's best. What's best is to find out where those things came from and work out a plan from there. I'm with Crazy Eyes. Anything beats staying in boring old Tear Kale. Wait, why do you want to come with me? <sighs> don't why me, Bozo. With a little more teamwork, we could give Commander Poker up the bot a run for his money. If we cross that double gremlin out there, I may be your only chance of making it out alive. I'm a scout, Fallon. Recon missions are my specialty. I know how to avoid difficult situations while you just... look for the first occasion to pull out your gun! You were a scout? Well, I'm a sky pilot, and my job entails shaking off grunts like you. Why are we even arguing? You won't get paid any extra to go with me. Let her go with you, Darian. You're restless. You need someone to keep you in check. Me. In check. And by someone like her. Isaurus and I are not cut out for recon operations. While I am, Ashbag. I might even teach you a thing or two about your... Specialty. Uh, okay, whatever. Let's go. Guys, stay safe, okay? You too. The 
the tracks lead right through here. Yeah, right through the... Gates of Gideon, Fallon. Yeah, I knew those were the gates of Philemon. But I don't understand. Wasn't it closed before? It's like those crystals grew overnight. Ha! <laughs> Not so smart now, are we? Uh, let's go through that cave over there. It'll probably take us to the other side. What if it doesn't? Then at least we tried. there a problem, Blockhead? I don't know. You could try asking nicely. Hey, Numskull, what's your problem? <sighs> Spit it out or I'll wring it out of you. There's a war on and you're just looking for ways to line your pockets. Are you trying to guilt trip me, deserter? I deserted to find a cure for the corrosion. And what am I here for? Aren't I helping you guys? You're only doing it for the money! Wow. When you buy turnips from a farmer, do you give him the same spiel? Not the same thing. But it is! Oh, I swear I'm gonna... you in the face. Wait. There's someone there. Damn it. We walked right into a trap. What? No time for questions. Run! So what's the plan, Chief? That was my next question. Huh. Was it now? Yeah, I haven't been with you too long, but it's long enough to understand who really calls the shots here. Oh, so that's how you think we work? What would you do in my place, then? Go and see Tyrannus. She's the city's first counselor. Then off we go to see Tyrannus. Back again, Mesaurus? I thought we'd never see each other again. Hmm, you could say I'm here to repay my debt to our beloved city. And here I was thinking that keeping your sarcasm to yourself was the best way to show your gratitude. All right, if you have something to say, let's skip straight to the point. Someone's planning to attack Tyrkalem. Who? The Consort? They have their hands full right now. Between the war, the corrosion, and the refugees, they have more to worry about than a bunch of techno-dabbling heretics. There's a third party involved. A new player on the chessboard. We still know very little about it, but this entity, or whatever it is, seems to command several companies of automatons. Automatons, you say? Not golems, right. Archolites? Too archaic to be Archolite. It's too early to say, but they could be of Vanati origin. Vanatis? Hmm. Hey, wait. What's Vanatis? An ancient caste of prehistoric Astrians. They learned how to shape crystals with magic, make them grow according to their will. They could shape large buildings and machinery out of them. But when the gods and their magic went dormant a millennium and a half ago, most of their knowledge was lost. It's a period of Astrian history that the Sanctorium 
prefers not to discuss. And you say these automatons are of Venati origin? We can show them to you if you want. It seems that you two were right. I'll convoke the council and order a lockdown. So fast? I'm the city's first counselor. Do you really think I'm blind to what's happening here? Until now, I suspected that someone was planning an assault on Tyr Kalem. There have been many unidentified signals detected by our sonars. Scout reports. These automatons you've dismantled, not to mention what happened in Jagholm, means we've reached the tipping point. This is the proof I need to justify a lockdown. So, you got this, right? Then I wish you all the best. Now, if you please, I'm going to kick back and enjoy the fireworks. Um, I have a suggestion. Our friend Asaurus here could be an invaluable asset. He knows both sides of the equation. Tyr Kalem's defense capabilities and the threat we're facing. I think it would be wise to make him our special advisor to help us organize our defenses. Hmm. Now, no, you can't just take a barely sober bum and put him in a position of responsibility like that. Watch me. Although I agree with your assessment, Priestess, I would feel more reassured if someone I trust was supporting our friend in his endeavors. <laughs> what? Can I trust Alpharius's most trusted pupil to do it? Of course. Then I will notify the militia. Yusaurus, you will provide support wherever it's needed and help the soldiers prepare for the attack. What the hell just happened? I thought about what you said earlier and thought it was only fair to don you with the leader's mantle for a change. You're in charge now. Yeah, I don't know what you expect me to do, but I'm simply not up to the task. To any task, for that matter. Again, you're the most knowledgeable person around on both of these matters. Psh, the city would do just fine without my tampering. Then it wouldn't hurt to just check around, would it? Ah, <sighs> wouldn't hurt. Then let's go, fearless leader. Eh, I'd say don't fall behind, but you can walk faster than me. So, you sobered up and came to see how it's done? Sure is different from tinkering with some junkyard trash, huh? Yeah, I guess. What's this? I'm not here to give you a tour, secto lady. Ask your babysitter. I bet he has nothing better to do. So... It's a reactor generally used to propel Archolite airships. These mechanics are rigging it up to use it like a giant flamethrower to repel the invaders. So, as you can see... We'll be getting this thing up and running in no time. Uh, have you considered... No, Isaurus. You shut up. I don't know what got into Terranus when she appointed you as our special advisor, but I won't listen to any of your crap, so just let us do our job and everything will be fine. Right. Yeah, forget it. Mm. Mm. I think you're doing it wrong. Excuse me? Celine? Can... Can I talk to you for just five seconds? You need to tell them what's wrong. They're professional mechanics. They know better than I do. We've been on the road. I've seen you tinkering around with your own limbs and body. No, the maintenance of my body parts is private. And I've seen how complex they are too. Listen, I don't know much about machinery, but I'm sure you can come up with something. Yeah, they won't listen to me anyway. I don't have any credibility in Tyr Do you remember how I was when we first met? I've been like that with these folks for months before you came along. It's a miracle a fight didn't break out when we arrived. 
At least tell me what's wrong with the reactor. Nah, that cooling system is crap. Your cooling system is crap. Slim! Miss, are you looking to start something? Tell them what's wrong, Isaurus. <sighs> this kind of reactor is designed for cruising speed at high altitude and the atmosphere. I don't understand what. This kind of reactor is designed for cruising speed at high altitude in a cold atmosphere. If you don't amp up the cooling system, the energy storage will melt in a few seconds. How would you know that? Kids in the junkyard. They had a fad playing with reactors for a time. I, I picked up a few things watching them. Damn it! He's right! What are we gonna do? Mm. Uh, special coolant. It won't solve the problem, but the reactor will last a bit longer. Long enough to do its job without blowing up, at least. What special coolant, Isaurus? The robots in the junkyard use a different kind of coolant than the ones you're using on machines. Okay, nice solution. But if we gotta start over and fetch enough coolant, we won't have time to finish the job. We'll do it. Yes, we can do it. Then we're counting on you guys. I know where we can find some. My old house in the junkyard. Let's go. The day Chair Calum stood still. Tyrannis sure wasn't kidding when she said she would order a lockdown. She's not the kind to leave anything to chance. So it seems. Come on, let us ask around if people need our help. We have no quarrel with you. Please go. I'd start running if I were you. Here are the barrels. I knew these would come in handy someday. Isaurus, what's wrong? Don't you want to help the people of Tyrkalem? Before you guys came along, I was pretty horrible to these people. Granted, they were horrible to me too. For a good while, I wasn't Eosaurus to them. I was the corrosion survivor, and that apparently entitled them to do a lot of things to me for their research. What kind of things? Experiments. Needles, scanners, electrodes. Painful stuff. Couldn't you say no? Would they have stopped if I did? 
With the promise of a cure to the corrosion at the tips of their fingers, they didn't even bother to ask if I was okay with it. And in truth, I didn't bother to tell them that I wasn't. Besides, the lives of thousands of people depended on those experiments. I was in no position to say no. Mm. But I was in a position to resent them. To resent the world itself. When their research proved fruitless, they tossed me aside. Just like... Just like my family when they learned I had the corrosion. So, I became horrible to these people, to everyone in Tyrkalem. It was... justified. But you still want to help them now, don't you? Somehow, yes. I've been living here. Learned to walk on these two cold, hard protuberances I loathe to call legs. Played a few stupid games with those impossibly noisy kids. As much as I want to hate this city, it's still the place where I came back to life. And it's a pile of junk, all right. But I won't let this doppelganger or whatever mess with it. Mm. And how does your red pendant fit into all this? There's still a part of me, stirring inside, telling me I have every right to make the world suffer just as much as I did. It's destructive. It's ugly. But this pendant somehow helps me to quiet that voice down. What is it? A reminder of something I aspire to be a long time ago. I'm still fond of that memory. Mm. Okay, we got what we came for. Let's go back to the reactor. Gotta admit, you got us out of a pinch here. Hmm. What comes as a surprise is that you're unquestionably accepting these barrels without even checking if I'm pulling some pranks or not. No need. There's a good look on your face. Look at someone who finally decided to pull his head out of his butt. Oh, shove it. You can tell Terranus we're okay over here. Or, if you want to be a trooper, go help the other guys around the city. They're busy with their stuff, too. No, yeah, no, thank you. There's still one yeah in that answer. Oh, please. Thank you. 
We have no quarrel with you. Please go. And a round of applause to me for not messing up everything I touch today. You should give yourself a break, you know. Since you've joined our group, Darian and I have done nothing but rely on you. Oh, but I still have time to sink out a little enterprise. I'm pretty sure I'll slip up at some point. Just give it time. Enough self-loathing and self-pity, Isaurus. We've had enough of that. You've had enough of that. <sighs> I... No you've been trying to do. Man, it won't work. You simply have no idea how low I've stooped over the years. My past is not the kind of slate you can just wipe clean. You won't make me feel better by slapping me on the shoulder and telling me I've been a good boy. I've been exploiting the goodwill of so many people like you even long before I caught the corrosion. I'm not by any stretch of the word a good person. And that horrible man has been fittingly punished for the matching body. So, save your fancy words. I'm way past any kind of self-respect. I'm sorry you've become so afraid of being cast away. That you feel the need to denigrate yourself at every occasion. And I'm sorry that I'm not kind enough to hide the painful truth from you. But I trust you, so deal with it. Ah. <laughs> hey, wait. Is my battery acting up? Oh, it's not a pouncer. It's... Oh, please, no. 
Please. No. Hmm? Any reason why you're staying behind? Sorry, I was... Daydream. We should report to Tyrannus. Yes, that's our cue. Human terrorists were right. They really are coming for us. There's too many of them to count. Chin up, Chief. Tear Kalem's a tough nut to crack. We're entrusting you with the reactor. Don't forget, you can only use it once. Make it count. I know. You ready? I'm always ready.
cannot <laughs> allow myself oh. to die here. They're coming! I'd start running if I were you. Ready! Fire! Let's give them hell! Got your back! I will commend your soul to the gods. Darkness before dawn. So far, so good. Don't get cocky. Yes, my general.
Darkness before dawn. Out of the way. Out of the way. We need to hold out just a little more. Is the ground shaking? Do you feel it too? I just knew something like that was coming. They just love to pull those kinds of surprises on us.
By the will of the gods. A prayer for your wayward soul. Whoosh. Darkness before dawn. By the will of the gods. Wait, what? Is it over? It seems like it. No, it's not over. The junkyard, damn it! Why didn't I think about it earlier? There's a breach in the hole there! We have to hurry! Let them go. 
You. The gods' most cherished child. I... How do you know that name? How wouldn't I know your name? Your debacle is the reason I'm down here. What? How? You... Still obsessed with your... connection to them? So eagerly yearning to hear their voices. The many years you've spent crying out, calling for them has left you deaf to their call. In the end, it doesn't matter. You have betrayed the gods' faith the same way you have failed Harrion. Soon a rain of fire will fall on these lands. I want you to remember, as you hear the agonizing cries of the people you have failed. This is all your fault. I don't understand. No, you don't understand. Looking for a cure for the corrosion? Saving the world? Becoming a saint? Overthrowing the elders? The gods told me that the path would reveal itself to me. Yes, and still you were blinded to the signs. You'd rather follow a path dictated by your insatiable pride! This is impossible. Why would I lie? I'm the last of the gods' servants. Okay. Now enough with the bombastic terrains. And you, of all the people who opposed me, you are without doubt the most insignificant. Bet you've never been beaten up by a trap before. I'll try to be gentle. Oh, I'm in for it now, right? You know very well I'm not referring to your attire. You are no threat to me because you have no self-worth. Your body is not a suitable home anymore. The divine spark you swore to keep alive has died, Carnelian. Carnelian? You know nothing about me! You are painful to behold, a tear in the very fabric of magic. Killing you will be an act of mercy. Well, we'll see about that. No, oh, the pain, the pain, my life is pain. Please end my suffering. Darkness before dawn. Why have the gods stopped talking to me? Am I not worthy? Am I not their favorite? Hey. Must go as planned. Don't you dare disobey me. Darkness before dawn. Darkness before dawn. Thank me for this. 
You're wasting your time. I'm quite aware of my shortcomings. The bearer of destruction is not here to help you. You have no chance of winning. Celine! Okay, Buster. Gloves are off. Celine, are you all right? Oh, what? Huh? What happened? It's okay. He ran away. He ran away? How? I pulled a dirty trick. Compelled it to leave while it was ahead. How did you do it? No matter. We have to follow it. Wait, what is our plan here? Just whistle for a Nekaru and throw ourselves to that creature again? Must I remind you of what just happened? There is no part of what just happened that I have forgotten, Carnelian. Okay. Let's just stop for a moment here, Selene. I have no intention of making amends for who I am or to who or what I worship, and especially not because of some stupid immemorial religious feud neither of us had a part in. I believe there are more pressing matters at hand. You're right. I know you mean well, but we'll have to talk about it at some point. And you will hide nothing from me. Okay. And by the way, what was that bit about the gods most cherished? Okay, found you. Priestess, your brother is- Where's Darian? Did you leave him alone out there? He covered for me while I... While you ran away! Is that it? <sighs> We've gotta go look for him, now. You'll tell me your story on the way. Hey, let me remind you that I'm supposed to be here to provide transport and help you find that cure, not to... Are you going to charge us extra for doing your duty, too? Is that the kind of person you are, Fallon? Then hurry up and name your price. Damn it. What do you say to that? What do you think? Is she right, Asaurus? Or should I punch her in the mouth? Ah, don't ask me. One thing is sure, I'm beginning to understand why she's in charge. Where? 
You're awake! You're awake! Sil? Sil! Is that really you? Am I... dead? <laughs> Typical Darian. Glass always half empty. You find me alive and the first thing you think is that we must both be dead. We're both... alive? Is that true? <sighs> hey, are you... crying or something? I... It's just... It's been so long since anything good happened to me. Are you telling me... I'm something good? Yes. You certainly are. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll be alive for much longer. The Ascendants, huh? It seems like no matter what we do or where we go, our destiny is to get slaughtered on the closest altar. Oh, by the way, I've got something for you. What is it? A present. I was supposed to give it to you during our date, but, you know, things happened. Is this...? Yeah, Zandra told me you were collecting little wooden figures. I remembered your weird fetish for Anselm, so I started carving this during my breaks. And you've kept it with you... all this time. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. I guess... I just... didn't know what to do with it, really. <laughs> it looks so stupid! Hey, I did my best! I love it, Darian. I really love it. Just act like decoys, guys, and I'll do the rest. Darkness before dawn. Would this be? The gates of Gideon, Eusaurus. Everyone knows that. A vestige of the long forgotten past. People usually think that these are just natural landmarks. Crystals that somehow formed randomly into this gigantic structure. But of course, it has to have been done by design. Wait, what do you mean by that? I mean that our ancestors knew how to grow these crystals, and how to form them into certain shapes. 
Uh huh. You don't believe me? The proof is before your very eyes. This door has been open for eons, and now it's closed. Someone knows how to control them. And by someone, I mean these guys. So we wait here until one of them goes inside. I have a better idea. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. What are you going to do to me now? Repurpose you using nano machines. You what? what? Nano machines? It's kind of like fairy dust, but for machines. Fairy dust? Absolutely not! That is not fairy dust. It is much more complicated and. Way. How does someone like you know how to use nano machines? And how did you get a hold of those? I'm world class. And that's all you need to know. Do you intend to put me into that body? T completely inefficient. Take that one over there. This one? Affirmative. Nice choice. What the hell? Quite fitting, actually. Hey, this thing just tried to kill us. Do you really think it's wise to give it that body? Relax, buddy. It's all under control. We need your help. My brother... No need to explain. I distinctly recall all the past events. Your sibling needs my help. And I cannot refuse, since I must obey your orders. Actually... Let me access the unit's memory. Ugh, such an abdicated system. It's a miracle these things can even walk. Ah, here it is. I know how to open it. Wait a second. What should we call you? Um, typical human reaction? Now you see me walking on two legs, you suddenly wonder what to call me. And? This body feels like a weapon of mass destruction. I think Thea sounds nice. Thea, huh? Affirmative. Applying long-term strategy.
So, the bearer of destruction in the flesh. I have no idea what you're talking about. I know more about you than you think. Stuff even you don't know yet, buddy. Like my name? Did you know it's Oberos? Sure beats the doppelganger. Now <laughs> that's a mouthful. Oberos. Yeah. Right. Do you? Oh, Darian, don't bother. I already know what's on your mind. Can I fight him? No, we both know you're outmatched. You don't even have your really, really big sword with you. And that wound on his chest? <laughs> you noticed that, didn't you? You'll never get anywhere near it. Can I jump? Nah, I'll break your legs, pal. So, I guess it's all over for you. But... Since I know how you're feeling right now, I'd say I'll be doing you a favor by killing you. Ooh, it's hard being in your skin. Hmm, where does all this self-loathing come from? Well, even with my face, you still sound like Korra. I guess humiliating others is a mutual passion. And now you're just poking about blindly, trying to see what makes me tick. Nice try. Nice try. But you can't cheat your way out of this. Like you cheated your way out of the war, deserter. You're a coward. Saving your mother. Protecting your sister. Excuses. The Ascendants broke you. The death of your squad broke you. When you woke in the snow, your mind was already gone. You just walked, away from it all. You didn't even realize you were deserting. The hell you know! Even I know it, Darian. That letter. I didn't send it because I needed help. I sent it so that you would desert. To protect you. Because I knew I could use Ilvana's decree to put you out of the consort's reach, at the risk of my own life. Selene! What did you do to her?! It's over. Now, the seed of destruction will be mine! <laughs> did Ulfara teach you nothing? Ulfara? Oh, what? Who are you? Mm. You don't seem to remember. Curious. Maybe I misjudged your powers. I will make sure that this time, nothing stands in the way of your bloom. You'll thank me. Later. <laughs> What's happening here? Is that Darian over there? There's no time to lose. Let's go. This is the moment you realize you've made a mistake. I will commend your soul to the gods.
Just act like decoys, guys, and I'll do the rest. I will commend your soul to the gods. Darkness before dawn. Applying long-term strategy. Before dawn. Ugh. 
Darian? Darian! Do you hear me? Thea, get Darian on your back. Start gathering datas. Crystal taking root in a human body? Is it dangerous? No one can say at this point. It stopped growing after it fused with his nervous and circulatory systems. Meaning we would have killed him if we had continued the extraction. Yes, but that's not the worst. When you brought Darien to me, he was suffering from heavy blood loss. Blood loss? But there's no wound. Did the crystal do this? It's the crystal, all right. I've seen it do much worse to other people. Darian, you shouldn't be up. Now, now, sleeping? That's your thing, Celine. You shouldn't even be moving until we find out what happened to you. Don't worry. I figured it out already. It'll stay put as long as I don't poke at it. How do you know that? This crystal in my chest? It only awakens if someone asks something from it. This is what happened in Alfara, too. I remember it now. Which means I'm safe, as long as I don't ask it to pull any destructive shenanigans. Yes, but... And I'm pretty sure we'll eventually find a way to get it out of me. Right, Tyrannus? I'm... not sure we can. <laughs> Come on, that's your thing here, entire Caelan. Making impossible things happen. You'll find a way, I'm sure. Right. Anyway, we have work to do. There are still a lot of people back there, and they need our help. Yasaurus and I have been talking, and he seems to have come up with a pretty good plan. Yes, I know. I've come up with one of my own, too.
So you've already met Thea, right? Yes, it was uh, quite surprising, actually. Are you talking about her appearance? Uh, no, uh, she just started blurting out apologies for what happened in the Vanguard. I know. She's learning. Making steady progress. Hey, remember, it's an Archolite machine we're talking about. When did you decide it was a good idea to give it a body? <laughs> she told me you fell off your bed the first time you saw her and crawled along the ground trying to find one of Tyrannus's scalpels. Oh, that blabbermouth. That blabbermouth saved your life. Along with Yosaurus and Fallon. I guess they're more loyal than I thought. Yes. And they're waiting for us. Go ahead. I'll gather my stuff and catch up with you. Okay. We'll be waiting for you. Look who finally showed up. Our miracle recovery. The man who fell from the 25th story, and he's still here to tell the tale. Hey, guys. So... Now that we're all together, it's time we spoke about our next move. Darian, tell us about what you saw in the tower. There are a lot of people inside. Dozens. Oberos throws half of them into some kind of furnace at the top of the building. The rest go... somewhere else. Syl couldn't tell me any more than that. Who's Syl? Syl's, uh, an old squad mate from the Consort Army. I must save her. I will save her. Hmm. I'll take it from here. While imprisoned, our wobbly friend here noticed something interesting. His jailer, who goes by the frightening name Oberos, seems to have a weak point. Thanks to yours truly and his flamboyant performance in combat, our double-faced friend has received a mortal chest wound. A wound that will be difficult to heal even with his extraordinary healing powers. Blah, blah, blah. Get to the point. Oberos has a weakness. And it's the corrosion. The Corrosion? How are we supposed to use the Corrosion against him? Oh, you find people will simply have to do it the same way I do. And how is that? Using tempered, corroded metal. Corroded? You've been transporting and using corroded weapons? Don't pass me off as a madman just yet. If you burn corroded tissue, the contaminated matter burns off and you're left with a completely inoffensive, scary-looking alloy. Once I've extracted the metal from the flesh, I'll forge each of you a 100% safe corroded weapon. Or for you, Fallon, bullets. Yuck. How can we be sure they will be safe? How can we be sure we won't be spreading sickness by forging such things? Corroded metal is safe. You just have to trust me on this. Like you did when you crossed the clockwork field. But we need to go to another corroded field. Uh, the one near the Scorched Halcyon has precisely the kind of corroded alloys I need. Are you sure we'll be a match for Oberos with these corroded weapons? That's our best bet. No need to craft one for me. I won't use it anyway. Then what will you do? Last I heard, Oberos was impervious to your attacks. I guess I'll just have to take the gloves off then. Are you kidding? Or... But I need Alpharius for that. Besides, I need to ask him about Oberos. He knows too much about me. And that was even before he assumed my form. He also said he was the last of the gods' servants. And to be honest, that worries me a bit. Hey, he was pretty intense. I'm not sure you should take him too seriously. Anyhow, we have to learn more about him. And Alpharius is the person who might be able to answer our questions. So, here's what we do. Go to the clockwork field near the Scorched Halcyon, and then visit Alpharius. We have to do both things before we confront Oberos. And... Darian, I took the liberty of sending a letter to your old commander. Did he answer? No. Hey, by the way, I've got a plan too. What if we take my airship and fly away to Avaris and leave this mess to someone else? Like Commander Korik, for example. Korik's not the kind to go back on his word, for better or worse. It's hard to admit. But I can't risk getting expelled from the Sanctorium. And I have to rescue Syl. I'll just tag along wherever these two dummies decide to go. Well, I'm completely lost in a world I understand nothing about. And I have to follow your orders. So? Anyway, 
the lives of dozens, if not hundreds of people is at stake. Whatever the doppelganger is doing, he must be stopped. Then, let's get to it, everyone. Hey, we save a lot of lives these days, don't we? I guess we do. Does that mean we've become some kind of <gasps> hero? Just shut up, Isaurus. You're making me nauseous. Sorry, Fallon. Whether you like it or not, I've got you stuck playing the role of heroine. I knew you were trouble.
Okay, so we just walk straight into a clockwork field. Excellent idea. It's a Gepcong. Rep Mag, I made a little something to protect everyone from the corrosion. See? I can be useful from time to time. Okay, whatever. I won't catch the corrosion anyway. Too cool for that. Hey, Yosaurus. Did Selene tell you about the crystal in my chest? Why yes, a bit. Welcome to the club of people with funny things in their chests, by the way. Thanks, I guess. Uh, I need to talk to you about it. I'm listening. This thing, this crystal. I don't know what it is or how it works, but it's dangerous. Incredibly dangerous. It goes way beyond the kind of power one man should wield. How dangerous are we talking about? At first, I thought it was just a catalyst for powerful magic. But lately, things have made me change my mind. I've seen it do things. Felt its pulse, its will. I get this feeling it could just destroy the whole world if it's left unstopped. Could put you guys in danger. Now, now, friend, leave the melodramatics to me. I thought you were the realist in a little band of crazies. Isaurus, I've seen this thing at work, and it isn't pretty. I don't know. I think I could lose control of it at any time. If I do, promise to kill me before things go awry. <laughs> what? I'm sorry to ask you. I know the weight of responsibility. No, you don't! Ah, <sighs> why? Why the hell would you ask me of all people? You know I can't ask Celine. Ask Fallon! She'd gladly put a bullet in your head. And enjoy it too. I don't want to ask Fallon, Isaurus. I'm asking you. I guess you really do trust me now. I guess I do. How about that? Whoops! Hey, did you see that? Ooh, ooh! I guess I didn't know my own strength after all. What did you just do? What? Hey, what's the big idea? Nah, sheesh. No need to yell. It was a dud anyway. Bloody Rep Mag never worked in the first place. What do you mean? <laughs> I figured it was time for you to find out the truth about the corrosion. Does that mean... Does that mean my sister will get the corrosion too? <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! I'll let you work out your feelings on these poor fellas. Come and find me when you've calmed down. Just act like decoys, guys, and I'll do the rest.
dawn. Why did you that miserable piece of crap? I'll kill him. I swear I'll kill him. Calm down, guys. Knowing Isaurus, there's probably something behind that little shenanigan. We're in the middle of a clockwork field. What else do you need to know, Celine? I need quiet. Nine. Nine. That's my transponder. Oh. <laughs> I wish I could see your faces right now. But you can probably guess why I didn't stick around to see, huh? It's not that dead. I'm not too far from where you're standing, actually. Take a look around. Calm down, will you? You'll breathe in too many corrosion particles if you get too excited. Interrupting the battle flow. Darkness before dawn.
Left. Uh, I mean, no. Go right. Oh, I don't remember anymore. Just act like decoys, guys, and I'll do the rest. Before dawn. I won't back down! Darkness before dawn.
I will commend your soul to the gods. Darn. Why do you guys even listen to me? This is perhaps my fourth, no, third best joke ever. I should write it down somewhere.
this possible? Well met, angry people. Eh, forgive my neighbor's trick, but there was simply no other way. I'm gonna kill you, Yosaurus. I'll make you regret you are safe. Explain yourself. You are safe. Don't you guys listen to anything I say? The Rep Mag was a dud. If you could have caught the corrosion, you'd have symptoms already. And do you know why you haven't caught the corrosion? because you can't catch it by walking into a clockwork field. How can you possibly know that? Maybe because it is so. Sit down, sit down. It's been a long time since I've had visitors. Can I interest you in a cup of mushroom tea? Who... who are you? My name's Rendor. I'm the man who's been living here for the last three years. Three... years? And you are... He's healthy. No trace of the corrosion. Or any of the disease, for that matter. How was that even possible? Beats me, people. I'm as surprised as you are. There must be a reason. Some kind of immunity? But it doesn't mean anything, Isaurus. Maybe this man has some kind of unique immunity to the corrosion, but that doesn't mean we do. Oh, but I haven't gotten to the best part. He's not the only one. I traveled the world looking for a cure, remember? On my travels, I met several people like him. Oddballs, goobers, living in clockwork fields like this one. And they were all healthy. Provided they can fend off the occasional crude creature, of course. Oh, Rendor, when I said goobers, I meant no offense. None taken. After all, it wasn't a brilliant idea to settle down here, was it? Ah, buddy, I missed your tea so much. It has that deep, rusty quality I've never found anywhere else. I can't believe my ears. Hey, listen to this. I even found a smuggling ring in Avarice. People were using clockwork fields to conceal their operations. You still don't want mushroom tea? You should drink it while it's hot. But if it's not by contact with the corrosion, how does one catch it then? To that question, Darian, I have no answer. But I have the answer to another question. You, Isaurus. You never told us how you caught it. Yes, that's the one. The truth is, it just happened overnight. I never touched any Arcolite technology at the time. Never approached anyone sick. Never went into a clockwork field. Never ate anything suspicious. Didn't travel, didn't do anything wrong, and I was the only person in the whole city who caught the corrosion that year. Eh, talk about having a rotten luck. Are you telling us everything? Anything that's relevant, yes. The rest is all, uh, non-consequential family drama. So, that only means one thing. No one in Harrihan is safe from the corrosion. It could strike anyone, at any given time. I came to the same conclusion. I can't believe what I'm hearing. So what the consort is doing? The refugees, the camps, the lockdowns. It's all for nothing? I'm not sure about that. And that's precisely what I'm saying. After everything I've seen, I'm not sure of anything. I'll be darned. Well, 
now that I've delivered the good news with proper gusto, I do believe I deserve some nap time. Give you all some time to digest. Tell me when your brains are done cooking in those cranial kettles of yours. Bordo. If you're still hungry, I've got some leftover mushroom soup from yesterday. comes the fun part of our little escapade. We need the strongest alloys to craft the sturdiest weapons. Luckily, this clockwork field is full of the baddest, meanest, corroded creatures around. We'll have to gather their toughest parts. Corroded antlers, gels. I'll make you a shopping list. So, it's more of a chopping list. Huh. Already heard that one. We got you, Mr. Veteran. Been there, done that. I loathe to use the force this way. Prayer for your wayward soul.
this? for your wayward soul.
Rendor won't mind if we spend the night here. Make yourselves comfortable while I craft us some new weapons. Spend the night. We can't afford to wait too long before tempering those... materials. Otherwise, they'll lose many of their most valuable properties. So, Selene, would you perchance be interested in learning the arcane art of mishmashing corrupted remains into frightening weapons of destruction? If you don't mind me watching you work. Not at all, my dear. I just ask that you politely applaud when I'm done. I don't know. You'll have to let me see if the final product is worthy of applause or not. Oh, such harsh words. Okay. Then if you don't mind, I'll leave it to you. You're still in recovery, Darian. Don't push yourself. I guess. Good night, guys. Good night, Darian. So, how did you find out so much about the corrosion? Boredom. Mostly. Back in the days when I was searching for a cure, I eventually grew tired of searching for answers in the traditional places. So I began studying corroded creatures, and my own limbs when I could bear it. After all, truth lies in both blood and flesh. Is that a Carnelian principle? It is. Carnelians believe in the sanctity and divinity of the body. And since the corrosion is a sickness of the flesh, I thought I should start looking for answers there. I made a few minor discoveries, but nothing conclusive as to the true nature of the corrosion. Anyway, you may as well know it now. My being a Carnelian poses no threat to you. Why? Any Carnelian that wasn't slaughtered by the Sanctorium centuries ago has been converted or assimilated. But you already know that. My own. was the only Carnelian I ever met. Everything I learned, I learned from her. And everything she learned, she learned from her own grandmother. But she died a while ago, which makes me the last of the faith. 
My aunt hoped that we would launch a revival, but her plans were cut short when her brother, my father, learned of her ambitions. He feared my aunt had brainwashed his firstborn son to join an obscure cult that would bring shame and disgrace on the prestigious Firebrand family. To secure the family's growing prestige and send a message to me, he had his sister assassinated. That's horrible. Oh, it's pretty standard fare amongst Avarice aristocracy. Trust me, you don't want to know the rest of the sordid story. Even if I remain a Carnelian at heart, I have no intention of converting anyone. I'm way past that now. Too many bad memories. And what about you? What about me? How do you handle the pressure? Finding a cure to the corrosion, saving the world, and so forth. Anyone else would feel crushed by such a responsibility. Oh, I can handle the pressure. It's something I anticipated. Something I hoped for. Something I asked for. How so? I'm not satisfied with the state of the world, Isaurus. Living in fear and deception, the way we're living right now, shunning each other, living in perpetual dread, it's beneath us. We deserve better, and we owe it to ourselves to be better. Putting an end to the corrosion is a tiny step towards making Harrion better. But if that's my mission, then so be it. A fearless leader in all her glory. But sometimes I'm scared. What could possibly scare you? There are times when I don't even care if I succeed or not. Facing death while making the world a better place is what I'm, I'm happy that I can lead a life without fear. Even of the worst. Because sitting back helplessly, watching the world gradually decompose, that would be the worst. Sometimes I wonder if you really are human. Oh, make no mistake, buddy. I'm human. Yeah. Isaurus, on some other occasion, I'd like you to tell me more about Carnelian beliefs. I... I'd love that. second bearer. This is the third time we meet. Unless you heed my words, it will be our last. You're just some corroded talking tree. You have allowed the seed of destruction to take root in your body and soul. For this transgression, there will be a terrible price to pay. The Seed of Destruction. Oboro said that too. Is that the name of the Ascendance Crystal? Listen to me, Third Bearer. There's not much time for you to learn to use it. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. I... But... I don't care about the fate of the world. If I cared about the fate of the world, I wouldn't have deserted. My sister, my mother, my family, and now Syl. They're all that matters to me. Why doesn't anyone get that? Oberos understands, and he will use it against you, again and again, until you are destroyed. Why? Why me? I'm nobody. You denied the seed of destruction that day. You raised your arm against it. Now, you are responsible for it. It must never fall into the wrong hands, for the consequences would be terrible. I never asked to be responsible for it. You have to, for the sake of the people waiting for you on the other side. Other side? Fate of the world. I don't care 
about all this. There's some voice coming out of the crystal, right? An ancient guardian, something like that? Then hear this. I would rather die than use that power and expose anyone to it. Find someone else! I can't protect you from your fate. And will not be able to protect you from the suffering you will inflict upon yourself. But I can help you give your suffering meaning. Don't forget who you are, Darian. Always remember your true self. We have yet to meet for the first time. Uh, you don't look so good, Darian. Are you okay? Yeah, don't worry. So, are we back on track? Yes, I've distributed all the new weapons. Uh, don't be afraid to wear them with pride. So I'll be the only one with a corroded weapon, huh? Can't say I'm 100% thrilled about this vote of confidence. Oh, these weapons are just like me, Darian. Ugly. They make you feel uncomfortable, and yet they will ultimately serve you well. Will it leave him stranded in hostile territory too? No, that's my own special touch. Aren't you a joker? Yosaurus? Yes? I'm counting on you. I... I... Okay. You copy? Yes. Tower's in sight. Are you sure the Seat of Destruction is inside? We've been over this already. The only other lead was that no-name deserter you wasted a week on because you had a hunch that the Seat of Destruction might be in his chest. Must I remind you why I have been picked for this mission? Yes, we all know of your gift. Believe it or not, Magic and psychic abilities don't make it easier for us to justify our operations to the Defense Committee. Maybe you can tell me something I don't know. Never mind. In any case, the Seat of Destruction must be in this tower. If our calculations are correct, it is something to do with the massive energy readings coming out of the place. Your job is to secure the Seat of Destruction and, by any means necessary, shut down whatever operation is going on in there. What kind of operation? Some of our analysts have suggested that this tower is an antique anti-air defense system. Are they trying to reproduce the Ascendants? On a much larger scale, yes. It could pose a threat to us. Uh, you have a short memory, Lawson. Those same analysts told you a month ago that the Ascendants couldn't possibly go higher than a mesosphere. Regardless, Laura, we have a problem on our hands. This intel fell into Colonel Gregor's hands. And he made more than his case in front of the committee. Got them riled up. Persuaded them that once this tower is operational, there's no hope left for us. The fact that we still haven't obtained the Seed of Destruction doesn't help either. That can't be good. What's the bottom line? Unless we present them with proof of our success, the Colonel will receive clearance to nuke Astraya on the 6th of December. Nuke... Astraya? But... What the hell are they thinking? Is the Assembly okay with that? How can they let this happen? The Noah is coming. Our days are numbered. Nuking Astraya. How could they? I know how you feel about Harry on Myrna. Trust me when I say it didn't make things easier for us. This isn't about me. Listen, we've tried diplomacy. We've tried intimidation. We've tried to make them surrender by every means. Every time, the consort prevails. Our people are getting desperate. There's no way for me to call off the attack unless you shut down the operations here and get your hands on the Seed of Destruction. 
No backup, of course. We're on our own. And they want us to fail, so they can end this war quickly. By the sixth. This is bullshit, Lawson. I know. Call for extraction whenever you wish. I don't want you to die out there. I'd rather die on Harion than be complicit in... ...in this. I will bring home the damn seed of destruction. You do whatever you have to to prevent them from destroying Astraya. Do you hear me? Gotcha. Stay safe, Laura. Alpharius has left another of his flowers. Oh, this is gonna be a real treat. Brace yourselves, guys. As if anything could surprise me anymore. Hey, we're looking for Alpharius. The old man, huh? What's the password? Hey, this thing is talking! Like many other non-human things. Alpharius never said anything about a password. Well, now there is a password. I won't tell you where to find Elfarius until I hear it. Wait, is this the moment that you tell us we have to trek halfway across the continent to find a series of clues that just might help us figure out the password? Otherwise, we should just give up hope of ever finding Alfarius? Huh? Is that it? Because if, if that's the case, I want nothing to do with it. I'm out of here! I'm done! Done with these stupid errands! Got no time for this! <sighs> huh? Your friend's gone. Darian is not a friend. He's my brother. Alfarius never told me anything about Darlene having a brother. 
I am Celine. Okay, he's making a fool of us. How about adding some lead fertilizer to the soil? I'll get it to talk. Don't worry. Can't you show him Alfara used to seal or a letter or something? Wow. And who's this genius? Another of Celine's brothers? Are you multiplying or something? Show him a letter, duh. Can't you see I've got no eyes, you twit? If you can talk, why wouldn't you be able to see? You humans get so fixated on this. Okay, this isn't getting us anywhere. I just need the password, okay? There's no password. Is that your final word? It is. <sighs> to be honest, I'm not sure there was a password. There probably was at some point, but I think Kilfarius decided to do without... Uh, no. So now there is no password? <laughs> Listen, why don't you just throw around some words you think would make sense to Alfarius? Flower! Oh. No. Just try any word, Dial. No. Alfarius told me you were stubborn, so it makes sense. Maybe I should just tell you where he is. Yes. But then again... Has it started talking yet? No! See? If I tell you where he is, and he knows it, I'll be in for the whooping of my life. Listen, fellow non-human. If you tell us where we can find Celine's mentor, we will go and ask him ourselves if he is okay with you telling us where he is. Simple, logical fallacy trap. Get out of here. That'll never work. Huh. Actually... Sounds good. You'll find him waiting on the south slope of Mount Barrenroth. What? I guess sometimes trying now is better than crying later. Thank you, Thea. At your service. Though, Mount Barrenroth. Has he found it? He most definitely has. So, you got it out of him? Mount Barrenroth. Then off we go.